Sun is out here in San Bernardino. We're ready for some Little League Baseball. The West Regional starts now. Arizona, Hawaii, next. Welcome to San Bernardino on the road to the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It's game one. Little League West region play from Houghton Stadium. Honolulu, Hawaii battles Tucson, Arizona. Hi, everybody. I'm Trey Bender alongside the former Major League closer, Greg Olson. Glad you're with us. If this looks familiar as a rematch, it is Arizona and Hawaii here in game one. Hawaii scored two runs late last year to knock Arizona into the loser's bracket. Well, this is a Hawaii Air and Arizona program, both with tradition-rich areas of baseball, and Hawaii is a team that has plenty of coaching experience from their staff. Yeah, their coaching staff returns from 2014, and one of their assistant coaches actually played in San Bernardino in 1997. And an Arizona team has spent 27 years since the Sunnyside Little Leaguers have been to postseason play. They're used to the hot conditions. They ran through 12 games in Arizona of over 100 degree heat, so they will be definitely used to San Bernardino's weather today. So Tucson and Honolulu get it started here. Game one, West Region play from San Bernardino. First pitch coming up next from Houghton Stadium. Welcome back to the Western Regional Complex in San Bernardino. West Region play, it's day one. Honolulu, Hawaii, and Tucson, Arizona square off. will crown the West and Northwest Region champions here at the end of the week on the road to Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Arizona and Hawaii, let's take a look at the Honolulu batting order. Their leader hitting in the three spot in the order, Sean Yamaguchi, also playing second base, a very important piece for this team offensively and defensively, as is Bruce Boucher, who bats in the cleanup spot. And they're gonna be facing Diego Pinedo, 
who is the coach's kid, son of the manager, Paul, big Yankees fan, and like a lot of these little leaguers, has baseball as a focus, but other things as well, likes to hunt and fish, and he's the race, and he's going to get the call here. Well, it's a big, uh, big start. There's a lot of nerves, first game of the day. 9 a.m., 6 a.m. Hawaii time. So it's a matter of overcoming the nerves for me, Trey, and uh, who can do it the quickest with the least amount of damage is probably going to come out winner. It'll be a hot day later on. We'll reach 100 degrees, but nice temperatures here in our first game as we look at the Tucson Sunnyside Little Leaguers defensively. Lizarraga and Rivera manning that middle infield, very important, and so much importance placed on the catching. Hanging on to the third strike, keeping the ball in front. And you know what? He's calling the game. He's out there to settle down the pitcher. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of reliance in Little League on the catcher as well as all the way through baseball. Mana Lau Kong to lead things off. A tall drink of water, the first baseman, as we get things started here. Day one, game one. West region play. Arizona and Hawaii. And the first pitch from Pinedo is low for ball one. Matthew Melton behind the dish. You see the left-hander calling balls and strikes. Well, like I said, there's going to be some nerves going on right now on both sides of the field. We'd like to see strike one to start. There's a fastball that misses 2 and oh to Kong, who's a quiet kid but does a lot of damage at the plate. Big fan of the rock. Good frame there at 6'1", 150. <laughs> Just missed, it looked like he hit his zone, right? He threw it right where he wanted to throw it. Just missed by about two inches, didn't get the call. Looking for his first strike here, the 3-0 offering. Fastball, that catches the corner, three and one. That's gotta give him a sense of relief, you've been there. Yeah, that is a big sense of relief. Okay, I got the first one. Let's throw me one more strike, get back into the count. Another strike, about the same spot, full count. Well, it wasn't like he was all over the board with his first three throws. You know, the first ones, the first two just missed down, threw the third one straight in where he wanted it. And he gets Kong to chase one low, dropped by the catcher. The throw down to first is in time. So the strikeout of Kong, and a good job by Toledo to hustle over there to the baseball. Yeah, swinging strike three, and in Little League, they just started uh, this at this age of the drop third strike. See Toledo come up and, and throw a perfect throw. And I was actually curious because Kong was running down the first base line trying to impede the throw a little bit. And that might have been a borderline call if he'd gotten hit with that throw. Now Alki Kea, the third baseman. Good velocity on the pitches so far from Pinedo. He likes the superhero Thor. That's his favorite movie. 12-year-old. That's my favorite movie. You like that one? Yeah. Kind of a Captain America guy myself. <laughs> hey, come on, Ragnarok. How can't you like that? Hitters count here, 2 and 0. Oh. Fastball, that's low and away, and he falls behind again, 3-0. Oh. Well, he got, uh, got away with one on Kong in the last at bat with a, a would have been ball four. But Kong's up there, you know, wants to swing, wants to start the game off on a good note. That's fouled off by Kea. Kea had a couple older brothers that were coached by this coaching staff in high school. And that's a big advantage to have this staff that has seen state championships in 14 and 18 and back here in San Bernardino. Yeah, they know what to expect. They're not walking into something new. And they, they can use their experience to settle down the kids. So they're walking out here and try to take the edge off the nerves. Three and two. He battles back again. Well. Pineda is right on the bottom of the strike zone, which is right where you want him, but uh, you know, you hate to see your, your pitcher out there getting behind 3-0. That's bounced up there, and he loses Kea here, and we have our first base runner. Well, like I said, Trey, he's been on the bottom of the zone all day and uh, has gotten behind both, both hitters so far today. It's just, you know, like I said, there's a lot of nerves. Usually when you see the, a pitcher out there on the edgy side of nervous in this, I mean, this is a big game for these guys. He's, you know, 12 years old. They're out here in San Bernardino. It's, it's uh, you know, you got to win now 
And so he's a little bit edgy right now, but I, I generally don't see pitchers going out in the first inning being nervous and being on the bottom of the strike zone, usually up high and all over the place, and they have no rhythm. Angel Iriki is now the pinch runner, and that gets past the catcher. Toledo, and now base runner at second base for Hawaii. That's the toughest pitch for me to block is the fastball that ends up at about 59 feet. You're sitting there frame, getting ready to frame a pitch in, in the strike zone, and then all of a sudden the ball's short. Opportunistic on the base pass. You can see in Little League that they have to start until uh, they have to start at the base until the ball crosses home plate. John Yamaguchi, the leader of this team, fouls that one off. Two and one now to count. Early chance here for the Honolulu Little Leaguers. Their practice field five minutes from Waikiki Beach, playing in the heat here in San Bernardino. Ooh, inside, did that hit him? It did. And Yamaguchi's aboard. Well, it looked like uh, Pinedo tried to throw a breaking ball the first one of the day. He struggled with command on the fastball, and first breaking ball of the day, left it spinning up and in. And Yamaguchi gladly takes one for the team. Now, me having coached a little bit of Little League, I would love to see one of the coaches walk out right now, call a, call a timeout. Let's regroup. The Nado is struggling and got, you know, got lucky on his first out because that was ball four. He threw fastball in the dirt and Kong went chasing after it. We could have bases loaded, nobody out. You see the ball and strike ratio so far from, from uh, Diego Pinedo. Here's Bruce Boucher, the catcher, RBI chance. Outside for a ball, runners breaking. Throw down to third is late. And now two runners in scoring position in Enrique and Yamaguchi. Kea with a nice read, sees the ball come off Toledo's glove. Bounces and gets to third base easily. Big cut there from Boucher. And he senses a big opportunity for this Honolulu bunch. Chance to strike first, one of the veterans at 13 years old. Two and one. It wasn't a bad pitch. I mean, he's just missing, you know, got a good swing through right there. Got an open base. I know it's early in the game. You don't want to walk anybody to get, you know, bases loaded, but. That's ripped into center field base hit. Arike scores. Yamaguchi rounding third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's late. And into second safely is Boucher. Two nothing. Honolulu, thanks to Bruce Boucher. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Hawaii's had a, had a hard flight on Friday. Got very little sleep Friday night, if any. Gets here, gets the 9 a.m. first game. And what a way to start. Bruce Boucher with a fastball in the middle and textbook drive the ball to the back of the batting cage right into center field. Boucher told the coaches he wanted to be on ESPN. He remembers the regionals in 2014. Last time Honolulu was here, and he gets his team off to a good start. We've got Chandler Murray batting. Early substitution by Hawaii, but as we spoke about, Trey, these guys have been here before. Co coaching staff is familiar. Little League Baseball, everybody has to have six, at, uh, six outs in the field and one at bat. Mandatory play in Little League, and we'll see some pinch hitters that become important pieces as games wear on. Murray batting in Awana's spot in the order, the fifth spot here, and he has a chance to drive a run in. Here's the 2-0. Bouncing ball, base hit left field, past the shortstop. Boucher, it gets past the left fielder, Grejada all the way near the track. Boucher scores and into second safely, Awana. 3-0. Nothing. 
Murray uh, with the uh, RBI, batting for Iwana, and it's a 3-0 lead. Great start for Honolulu. Chandler Murray, ground ball through the 56 hole, which is the hole between third and short. Looked like uh, the shortstop, Lizaraga, slipped a little bit and wasn't able to get his feet back under him. And Chandler Murray stands at second base with the air out in left field. And now we have a pinch runner and a pinch hitter, it appears. Awana's going to go and run now in that spot in the order at second base after that Murray hit. And now batting is Masail Valenzuela. So they're going to go to their uh, pinch hitting and pinch running people here in the first inning, which is a unique move for Honolulu. And he's hit by the pitch, and Valenzuela's aboard. Second hit batter. Well, now I think we really need a mound conversation, Trey. You know, he is really struggling out here. And you can see Arizona is up there, and they are trying to pitch these guys in. And when you're struggling with your command, the last thing you want to do is a little spot inside corner. And these guys are up on the plate. You know, elbow pads, everything's kind of leaning out. It doesn't take much to hit somebody. Now Tanner Chun, the right fielder with a couple runners on board, and he goes opposite field into right field base hit. Awana will round third, he'll score, and runners on the corners, it's 4-0. Great piece of hit, and now we have runners on first and third. Still only have one out. And I like... Oh, fastball just down in the zone. Stays inside of it and drives it to right field. And no play anywhere for the defense. And here's Caleb Okada trying to keep the hit parade going. Takes a big cut at the first one. All right, so now we in Little League Baseball, you have runners on first and third. So the runner at first base cannot take off and start running until the ball crosses home plate. But you have a little bit, these are 12-year-olds out here, so you think that you can throw them out at second base. Do you take the gamble and try to get the out? Or do you try to hold the guys? And there's a throw down to second. They are keeping an eye on that third base base runner, though, and Chun steals second base. Well, it's tough to take the out, and that play is designed to give the appearance to the base runner at third base that that throw is going all the way down to short, uh, all the way down to second base. You can see the shortstop cut it off early. 0-2, back through the middle. Shortstop has it, throw from the knees in time to retire Okada. Great play by Lee Zaraga. Valenzuela does score, and it's 5-0. That's a tremendous play up the middle, though, from the shortstop. Thoroughly impressive play right there. Ground ball up the middle, goes down to his knees. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to see a play like that. They get the first out in the inning in dramatic fashion, but five on the board now for Honolulu. Got Chun at third with one out, and now a meeting on the mound. Well, in Little League Baseball in the Western regions, you can review a play, and it's something that they're not used to, but now here we have the experience of Hawaii. He's been here before. He recognizes... The situation, we got a bang bang play. We can have first and third again. Now, I don't know if they're going to review it or if they're just going to have a discussion to see if somebody had a better view, which is hard pressed with six umpires and somebody standing right next to first base. So, look at our umpiring crew. Let's see, they're, they're going to go to the uh, video review here. Take a look at this. Lisa Raga had to cover a lot of ground up the middle to get there. And then to show that ability to throw from his knees, I think surprised a lot of people. Yeah, that was the play. That was the play of the week on ESPN a couple about a week ago. Was one of the shortstops rolling over second base on both knees and making the play. Here's what you can review. So you can. Uh, it only applies to the regionals and the World Series televised games. So these coaches are not used to having a review system in place. Includes force outs, tags on base paths, missed bases, hit batters, and additional plays. I like the unlimited successful challenges. Yeah. And you are, we're looking at that play at first base right now. 
the run scores anyway. It's, it's a 5 nothing game. The question is, was that out that first out recorded at first base? And that's what they're taking a look at here. Matthew Meltner, home plate umpire. And here's a look. Oh, man. Wow. Ty goes to the runner, right? Hypothetically, yeah. That's wow. You know, and that's a I mean that's that's a big non-out or out. You're struggling, you're down five to nothing. You possibly might have the second out where a fly ball or a routine ground ball in the infield will score the run from third and make it six to nothing. Or you get the you got runners on first and third, and Hawaii's already shown that they're gonna play play the game of the first and third where they're gonna take that base if you're gonna give it to them. So this is a big call. And yeah, they've already sent eight to the plate. Their number nine hitter scheduled up, Jay Souza. To, to even have a chance at getting that out was, was amazing, on the play by Lisa Raga. And they, they need something positive now to build on because it's been a rocky first inning. Well, pen eight. And we understand this call on the field is going to stand. So they're going to stick with their original call. Here's the confirmation. That's a big out. I don't know, Trey. That was bang, bang for me. I don't know, you know, I wouldn't want the job of calling this on the field, first of all. Second of all, I don't think there's enough to know exactly. Ball in glove, foot down. I don't know, Trey. You're 0 for 1, though. I do know that. You called, you called, you called him safe. They're going to they're gonna call it an out. 6-3 is in my score sheet. And here's Jay Souza, the center fielder, with a runner at third. That's a strike on the corner. Still a chance for a big inning uh, to add to this inning for Hawaii. And Souza trying to turn the lineup over here. And he rips it towards the shortstop, Lee Zaraga. Only play at first. And he throws out the hitter to end the inning. Five across for Hawaii. And a big start here. West Regional opening round play from San Bernardino. Five nothing Hawaii leading Arizona as we go to the bottom of the first here. Out in stadium, West Region play a double elimination format and a great start for the Honolulu Little Leaguers as they send nine to the plate in the top half of the first inning and some work to do for Arizona. The Sunnyside Little Leaguers has spent 27 years since they've been to the postseason and here's a look at their lineup. Lee Zaraga has already shown he can flash some leather out there batting in the second spot in the order. Pinedo the pitcher, middle part of the order for Tucson and they need to get their chins up here after that uh, tough start top of the first inning. They're gonna be facing Kaolu Holt, a quiet kid and he's their number one guy, their ace. Big fan of the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, St. Louis Cardinals from uh, Hawaii is a long road right there, but great start by Hawaii. And right now, if I'm sitting in the dugout, I'm looking at Holt and I'm going, just get us three outs right now, you know? keep the damage to a minimum, get me three quick outs, get us back in the dugout. Let's see if we can get some more runs and, and blow this thing open. Defensively around Holt, plenty of speed. Yamaguchi's their leader. He's the captain of that infield playing the second base position. And Boucher 
So important for him to, to be the captain behind the dish, and we have seen it so many times. Drop third strikes can be factors, keep innings going, and uh, you can't say enough about the, the work the catchers put in and the hot conditions here as well. Well, and that was part of the problem was for Arizona was we, we were having fastballs in the dirt, and the catcher wasn't able to block them, so guys were advancing on, on easy bases. Martin Reyes to lead things off, the center fielder. This is a Tucson team that won a couple best of three series en route to a state title. Dealt with the hot conditions down there in Tucson. They won't be phased by the heat here as we expect to hit 111 tomorrow in San Bernardino. You sound excited for that. <laughs> if, if you there's really excitement do. in my voice. You sound excited for it to be 111 tomorrow. I mean, the only other people that are going to be happy are the, the kids from Arizona. I don't know how you can't be excited being here at the <laughs> ballpark, regardless of the temperature, right? Here, here's the 2-1. Lays off of that one. Hitters count now three and one for Reyes. Well, we've seen the nerves in the in the top half of the inning from Hawaii. Excuse me, from Arizona. And now we have a little bit of edge nerves, you know, balls that are missing up. There's a strike. Reyes is their fastest player. He gets on. He's dangerous on the base pass. That almost looked like a 3-1 breaking ball. A little movement there, huh? Yeah. Took a little something off. Might have cut it now he misses outside and walks Reyes to open up the bottom of the first and I'm fairly sure that was a breaking ball which I you know what I'm, I'm not a big fan of three two first inning you're up five and uh, I had the fortune to play for Tom Kelly in Minnesota and he was huge on getting that first out after your team scored one run let alone five. I want to get that first out. Those leadoff walks always seem to come back and haunt you, don't they? Yeah, I think 71% of mine scored. Lisa Raga now, right back through the middle, shortstop, Owana, and on to first, the double play. Well, that will take care of leadoff walks. A routine ground ball, Holt was not able to get a hand on it or a glove, it was, it was very slowly hit. And uh, ran Oani straight into the bag, an easy double play. Textbook, just a couple strides to his left, and here's Damian Lorda now, the third baseman. Well, that can erase the problems of walking the leadoff man. Well, if I would have got a double play after every time I walked the leadoff guy, I, I would have been a lot better. You would have saved a few more games, huh? <laughs> There's a strike on the corner. So Holt is, has already shown that he will throw breaking balls in any count. His fastball 67, 68. There's a little breaking ball, almost looks like a, a cutter or a slider. It's got a little bit of an action, but it's almost full 10 miles an hour slower than his fastball. And we've already seen one in a 3-2 count, a 3-1 count. Popped up, and an easy play for the first baseman, Kong, to end the inning. A little defense helping out Holt here in the bottom half of the first. Nothing across for Arizona. We're through one frame. Honolulu, a 5-0 lead.
Honolulu in front of Tucson here in West Region play opening round from San Bernardino. Focused on fun, fitness, and fundamentals, the Little League journey starts with T-Ball. Visit littleleague.org forward slash T-Ball for our free 10-week practice plan to keep the youngest Little Leaguers moving, having fun, and learning the games of baseball and softball. I coached my daughter in T-Ball. We never lost. We were undefeated. Really? Undefeated. Great way to get started, though, that T-Ball that thing. As long as you can yes, keep the ball is. up on the tee as a coach. Undefeated. Yeah, undefeated. Did not lose. How hard did you work the girls? I mean, I didn't, I, I four just, hour practices hey, I let and the, had them running sprints after the practice. I let the players play. It's a player's game. Oh, really? I guess I've been over managing too long. <laughs> Dad gummit. Well, nine to the plate in the first inning for Hawaii, and it's top of the order. Opening up the second, Mana Lao Kong to lead things off. He struck out to open up this game. First pitch from Pinedo is bounced up there for ball one. And this Honolulu team has to be brimming with confidence right now. Well, I hate to say this, and you, you don't want to start thinking about it, but the Arizona dugout's thinking about it. Pinedo is your best guy. He's out here right now. He's struggling. Gets the high pop-up. Lord of the third baseman calling for it, and that'll help one down. But he's at 32 pitches right now, and at some point, you know, do you run him and keep running him, or where do you get to with five to nothing after the first? He's, he's really struggled. Do you want him to maybe come back in two days? And that starts coming into the Little League pitch count thing. Yeah, we'll, we're going to take a look at the pitch count as this day wears on. Very important to take care of the arms. Here is Okai Kia, the third baseman who walked and scored his first time up. But an interesting thought, if you do surrender some more runs here, and it's a big deficit, there's a liner and a base hit past the second baseman. It's going to run all the way to the fence for Kia on his way to second and in there with a double. That ball was literally hit right through Francisco Rivero. That ball was struck well. You can see here it is, really good swing, textbook. And initially comes out of the box thinking he lined out because he hit it right at second base. So he comes out of the box a little bit slow, then realizes that it got through second base, and uh, he's hustling hard for a double. That may have surprised Rivero how hard that was hit. That surprised me how hard that was hit. Here's Sean Yamaguchi now, hit by pitch. First time up, takes a strike on the corner. Well, Diego Pinedo is starting to show some off-speed stuff. I think he was trying to save it a little bit in the first inning and was struggling with his command so much. He actually hit Yamaguchi with a breaking ball early in the first inning. Yamaguchi, big Dustin Pedroia fan. Loves the Red Sox. He hit a walk-off home run in the bottom of the seventh during their state title run. Doesn't get much better than that. No, I like I, no, I don't like walk-offs, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it's fun for the guys that get to hit them. You're speaking like a pitcher again. <laughs> we'll hear a lot of that today. Here's a 2-1, and that's ripped to left, and it's over the left fielder's head and off the fence. That'll score Kia, and into second with an RBI double, Yamaguchi, six nothing Hawaii. Well, we got back-to-back -back doubles, and Hawaii continues to swing it. Yamaguchi gets a fastball on the inner half and just clears out the front hip. And this ball was really well struck. So that's back-to-back -back balls that are really well struck. And Trey, I think we might need to start discussing, do we get somebody else in here and say Pinedo for another day? Well, they have not fooled the hitter so far. Here's Boucher, who already has that two-run single. Hit it to right center field his first time up. Six runs on five hits thus far. He gets a, uh, look like a change up outside corner, really good pitch, 1-0, and, and Arizona is showing the Hawaii hitters an enormous amount of respect. Boucher looks at a strike there. They asked Boucher why he wants to play Little League, because I want to be on ESPN. Here he well, is. A, you know, yeah, that's a great reason. 
And here you are. So far, good start, too. High fly ball hit to center. Reyes backing up near the track, comes in now and makes the catch for out number two. Martin Reyes with perfect form out in center field, goes back and he's trying to find the fence. He finds a warning track and then is able to just uh, make the routine fly ball, but nice job by him to go out and find the fence. Naturally, as an outfielder, you want to come in first, but uh, you're told to take the step back and then it's easier to get to the baseball. But not an easy thing at a young age to learn, something you need to It's hard routine. to do. It's, it's really hard to teach these younger kids to first step back. It's easier to come in, it's harder to go back, not to mention it's only a single if it's in front of me. It's a double or a triple if it's behind me. So two out and one on, and here's Taylor Owana. Big cut, had a home run swing there, strike one. Nice little first pitch slider taking advantage of Owana wanting to uh, get that runner in on the first swing. That one bounces past the catcher, Toledo, rounding third on a big turn is Yamaguchi. He'll stay put at third base. Well, another breaking ball down in the dirt. Toledo is having a hard day already in the second inning. He's had a lot of fastballs in the dirt in the first and then some breaking balls that have gotten away here. There's a strike, one and two. The hitter, Owana, they talk about his smooth mechanics out there. Well, this is his first at bat. He got hit pinch hit for early with, by Chandler Murray. Yamaguchi has to scramble back to the bag there. That almost got away from Toledo. Yamaguchi with very aggressive base running back uh, down to the bag, and that's what you want to teach these kids is to be aggressive down, and then they, you want them to run hard back in the fair play so they take away the throwing lane that the catcher might have. Better get a sense for uh, what it takes to get back to the bag, though, right? you got to have that You that better sense. get back, yeah. <laughs> Here's a 2-2. Big cut, swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. So nice job by Pinedo to get out of further damage. Another run across, 6-0. Honolulu leading Tucson here. Zapata will lead things off for the Sunnyside Little Leaguers when we come back. So many impressive Little League alums. How about guys that went into other sports and were success successful? Kareem, Clay Thompson, Dick Vitale took it to the mic very successfully. Richard Sherman, one of the great lockdown corners, and that guy won a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, he's not a bad coach. Probably learned everything he knew from Little League baseball. How about a couple of those uniforms, though? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that looked like they didn't have pants long enough, and that was the original high, high pants because he didn't have anything that could fit. It's old school right there. Honolulu in front of Tucson, 6-0 here. Bottom of the second inning, the Honolulu Little Leaguers, five in the first, one more in the second, and now 
a comfortable lead as Jose Zapata leads things off against Kaolu Holt. Holt got some great defense behind him in the first frame. Yes, he did. Got a nice ground ball double play to spoil uh, a leadoff walk. And right now, if I am Arizona, I'm just begging my boys just to get on base. Ooh, good pop on that fastball. Strike called. Yeah, the Arizona fans didn't like that one so much. That uh, looked like it was a little bit on the high side. There's a strike on the corner. Two and two. I don't know, Trey. I thought that one might have been a little out. We could be could be looking at four balls, no strikes, but we got a 2-2 count. Zapata's got a hit. Grounds it to short, moving to his left. Awana, the throw is in time. Good play from the shortstop again. One down. Really nice play. 2-2. Two -two. Looked like a little cut fastball, maybe a changeup. It's a ground ball to the 56 hole. And Owani comes a backhand. Ball popped out of his glove a little bit and still threw a bullet over to first base. So Holt getting the defense behind him has got to be a calming thing for him as he'll face Diego Pinedo now, the opposing pitcher. Ball one. Pinedo, we talk about superstitions in baseball a lot. For good luck before the game, he goes to McDonald's with his dad and drinks sweet tea and shares a large French fry before every game. That sounds like a pretty good moment with dad, though, right? you know? Yeah. Get your mind right. And I'm sure it just happened one night. He probably hit two home runs or, you know, threw a complete game, no hitter or one hitter or something. And dad's like, you know, we went to get French fries and a sweet tea. You got to keep going back to that. There's oh. a strike. Well, you remember Wade Boggs wouldn't eat anything but chicken for lunch. Yeah, he tried to drink lemon, barbecue, whatever. Yeah, it just had to be chicken. I never stepped on a chalk line. There's a strike. Uh, that outside corner, uh, Matthew Melton giving the pitcher that pitch. Well, you can see Matthew Melton, the home plate umpire, is set up on the inside corner. And so it becomes a little bit more difficult and there's a swing and a miss, and strikeout number one for Holt, two down. Becomes a little bit more difficult for him to see the outside corner. The inside corner, he's got locked down dead because he's looking right at it. Outside corner becomes a little bit sketchier. And here we see Holt throwing a one-two slider. That was a really nice slider, deep. Tough pitch to hit when you're 12 years old, let alone 24, 25. Here's Giovanni Toledo, the catcher. And after walking the first batter, Holt's starting to, it appears, settle into a rhythm now. Oh, he's gotten two nice plays out of the shortstop, Awani. Out in front of that one, 1-1. One one. And he is what uh, you will hear baseball guys talk about. He pitches backwards. So he will start the hitter and work through the count with a whole bunch of breaking balls, change-ups. And there's another one right there that was called a front door slider where it starts on the inside part of the plate and, and or starts on the inside part of the, to the hitter and breaks to the inside corner. And now we're probably going to see a fastball up out of the zone, if I'm guessing. And it's a fly ball hit to right. Chun is under it and a 1-2-3 inning for Holt, who's rolling right along. A comfortable 6-0 lead for Hawaii. We're through two. Honolulu in front.
underway. West Region play here in San Bernardino. A 6-0 lead for Hawaii over Arizona as we move to the third inning. The Little League Grow the Game grant initiative has distributed over $2 million at the local level. Grant funding provides local Little League's resources for general improvement and to expand or establish softball, challenger division, and urban initiative programs. For more info, visit littleleague.org forward slash grow the game. Great start for the Honolulu Little Leaguers here in sunny San Bernardino. And Diego Pinedo, with his team down 6 nothing had a better second inning than the first. He has recorded a couple strikeouts and hoping he can get back into a rhythm here because you got to think big picture uh, from a pitching perspective. Well, you assume he's their number one and he's out here and he struggled for the first two innings. And you would like to see, you know, he's already at 47 pitches. I think 60 pitches or 65 pitches, he's going to miss three days. And he struggled already. Maybe you get a couple guys a little, little bit of work. Somebody gets hot and gives your, bat, your bats a chance to get back into this game. Here's a look at the strikeouts and balls so far. But like you said, he did settle in nicely in the second inning, gave up a couple doubles. One of them probably should have been caught by the second baseman, Rivero, but it was really well hit and a tough play. Nyanoa De La Cruz pinch hitting in Holt spot in the order, the sixth spot here in the third inning. Big Mike Trout fan. De La Cruz looked like he was about ready to take that one on the bounce for the team and get on first base, do whatever you can. And that's what I love about Little League Baseball. There's There's a bouncer to the third. Lorda has it across the diamond. And the out recorded as Zapata had to tap dance over there on the bag to get out number one. Well, good start for Pineda. Ground ball to third base. See, Lorda takes his time, makes a good throw. Zapata looked like he had a little bit of problems finding his feet on the base. And sometimes that uh, becomes an issue when you're running 10 feet as hard as you can. You run to a point, try to get to first base, and then find your feet. And sometimes you just never find your feet on the base. Now Corey Chu is going to pinch hit in Tanner Chun's spot in the order. Chu gets an opportunity and swings and misses at the first one. So what we're seeing out of Hawaii right now is they have a 13-man roster. And with a 13-man roster, everybody has to get one at bat. That's it. I spoke earlier, if you have a 12-man roster, I believe that they have to get six outs in the field and one at bat. With a 13-man roster, they just have to get an at bat. And this is Chu's chance to make an impact. Hits a hard grounder to third, Lizarraga. And the stretch, and out number two. Good job by Zapata to stretch for that one. Lizarraga had a little bit too much time. It wasn't like that. Uh, play in the first inning where he went rolling onto his knees and an unbelievable ESPN play. Here's just a routine ground ball to shortstop. And uh, because the bases in Little League are much shorter than normal, this infield, as an infielder, you have to hurry. Hunter Nishina will now pinch hit for Okada. So they're going to get their pinch hitters done right here with this comfortable six-run lead. Well, it's not a bad idea, and I'm sure the Hawaii coaches weren't thinking that they were going to use them all up, but we did see Chandler Murray in the first inning batting in the fifth spot. Looked like a pretty close pitch. Most of Arizona is not happy with that call. Strike on the corner, two and one. And I think we're going to call that one even, Trey. That would be one of those uh, give back calls right there. It looked like it was up and away. And You never had those, did you, when you pitched? I never got one give back call. Didn't think so. Not one. There's a strike. Now that one definitely caught the edge, two and two now. Yeah, I would definitely want that last one. That one right before that, I don't think I'd expect it much. Machina trying to reach here in the top of the third inning. 
pulls it. First base bag, stepping to the bag unassisted Zapata to end the inning. Good one, two, three frame for Pineda. Pineda starting to find his groove, but his team down six nothing as we go to the bottom of the third. Day one, game one, West Region play, San Bernardino, Hawaii, leading Arizona 6-0. The Honolulu Little Leaguers with a five-run first inning, getting off to a quick start here. Catch all the excitement of the Little League World Series, including how to visit Williamsport. Scores, stats, highlights, and more. Visit littleleague.org or follow along on social media with hashtag LLWS. Starting to warm up here at the ballpark. First of four today, we'll have West Region and Northwest Region play. Following this one, it's Alaska up against Oregon in the Northwest as Kaolu Holt goes to work with this comfortable lead. He faces Adam Soto, the right fielder, the number seven hitter. Well, it's been a phenomenal start for Hawaii. Holt has gone out there, and other than a leadoff walk in the first, has Kept everybody else off base, and that uh, leadoff walk was erased by a double play. And you, you will watch Kaola Hu, Holt. Uh, Holt. He will throw some breaking balls in fastball counts. He'll throw fastballs in breaking ball counts. Very developed young pitcher at the age of 12. Really good athlete. Also plays basketball competitively. 1-1 one, one pitch. Took something off that one. 1-2. One and two. So he's been throwing a lot of sliders and a lot of fastball counts, which is called hitting, pitching backwards. And the hitters just never get comfortable and know when they're going to get a fastball. It's fouled straight back. Holt's favorite book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, <laughs> Dog Days. <laughs> I have not read that one. So is that like the second one? He makes it through school and then gets to summer and the dog days of summer? Is that a movie now? <laughs> one, two. Swing and a miss. He strikes out Soto, and that is strikeout number two. And after walking the leadoff man, he has been perfect since. We talked about mandatory play and substitution rules. And here's a look at the rundown. So once you make, once you make a substitution from, with a player, the starting player has to come back in his spot. You can't substitute somebody and then put somebody else in. So it's a straight uh, one, one up uh, swap. If you have 12 players, they have to play in the infield for two innings or outfield and get one at bat. If you have 13, like Hawaii does, then they only have to get one at bat. And they opted to get some pinch hitters and pinch runners out there in the first inning in their big five run inning early in this one. Here's the 
2-0 to Rivero. It's in there. Well, Arizona is in the eighth spot right now, and Hawaii has already pinched hit four guys, four kids, and that's been the story of the game. They've left some people on base as well. No pinch hitter so far for Arizona. Rivero pops that one straight back and out of play. Just to your right. Fans are going after it hard. A little dog pile. Not really. Well, we will see uh, young and old heading for the souvenirs as this day wears on. Here's a 2-2. That just missed, full count. That was a high slider. You generally do not get that breaking ball when it's elevated, and that was slightly above the waist. Really good take by Rivero. So look at the Sunnyside Little League fans from Tucson. Three twos fouled straight back. Well, we talked about it in the opening. You know, there's, there's nerves here, and Hawaii just came out, and they looked like they'd been here last year. And actually, you know, their coaches had been here in 2014. They came out relaxed, got outs, got hits. Guys, we had two guys get hit. They took one for the team, hustled down to first. It was a nightmare start for Tucson. Youngest player on the team, Rivero, trying to get on base here. 3-2 pitch. Chased it, swing and a miss. And strikeout number three, two down in the inning for Holt. Well, that was what I talked about. That was a 3-2 slider. Perfectly thrown, middle of the plate. If you're throwing breaking balls at this age, then you just want to start it over the plate. You want to land it in the middle of the plate. The hitters are not ready for one 3-2. You won't see many major league guys making a good swing on something like that. Juan Grajeda now. The left fielder. Papas. Papas? I was like waiting for a little poppy, big poppy. Papas. All Papas. Right. He's a big Cody Bellinger fan. Loves the Dodgers. Chase that one, went after one outside the zone. That was a great fastball down and away. Almost impossible to hit, 68 miles an hour. Let's see if he comes back with that slider that's been so effective this inning. Strike three call. Paints the outside corner and strikes out the side. Big inning for Holt, his fourth K of the game. So I called the slider wrong, fastball down and away, perfect pitch, 6 nothing Hawaii. The Honolulu Little Leaguers in front of the Sunnyside Little Leaguers from Tucson, Arizona, 6-0 is moved move to the fourth inning here at Houghton Stadium. West Region play getting started in San Bernardino. Double elimination format. The Northwest and West Region champions will be crowned later this week on the way to Williamsport, Pennsylvania and the Little League World Series. 
And Hawaii has really made a statement here. They are a Honolulu Little League team that won a state championship in 2014 and this year. They went to San Bernardino, San Bernardino those two years with this coaching staff. And, you know, you look at Willis Cato and his staff, and that, that's got to be a benefit coming in, kind of letting the kids know what to expect here. Well, we, we saw it in the first inning where, you know, he went up and asked for a review. And me as a Little League coach, you never have reviews, so it's not even something that you think about. You go out and argue a little bit, you t discuss the play, and then you walk back and you got what you got. Zach Juan leading things off. What a play by Lee Zaraga. The throw is not in time. Again, he goes low to glove it. Can't make the throw in time, and Juan gets the infield single. Lee Zaraga has been so far remarkable at shortstop. Line drive up the middle, one hop, diving play, comes up on his knees, and just couldn't make a clean throw to Zapata over at first base. Now the top of the order, Mana Lao Kong, who's 0 for 2. There have been some hard hit baseballs here. Really nice block. Looked like a 0-1 slider down and away. Toledo getting down on that knee and blocking it. It's a nice backhand pick. And that one gets past the catcher, a wild pitch, and Juan moves down to second base. All right, I feel like I jinxed that one. Just said he made a really nice pick, and then that one was about two feet further right. Had no chance of getting that one, and we have another runner in scoring position with nobody out. Kong trying to reach for the first time, lays off of that one. Well, what you would like to see right now is Kong looking for a fastball away and trying to hit something to right field to try to get the runner, Souza, over to third base. He doesn't get an opportunity, ball four. And that is walk number two given up by Pinedo. And here's Alkai Kia, who has already doubled and scored a couple runs. Pinedo is now at 64 pitches, and we are in the top of the fourth. He has been laboring. And a lot of it's just been on his own, you know, he's walked a couple guys, he's hit two guys in the first inning. It's a lot of been, it's a lot for unforced errors. Time called by Matthew Melton as he steps out of there. Kea, amazing competitor, hates to lose, hates to not be on the field as he's got a big opportunity here, count one and one. Well, you can see that looked like the first changeup that we've seen today, 46 miles an hour. Pinedo just decelerated his arm just a little bit too much and left it high. Fastball strike called there, one and two. Well, you know you're a competitor when you get mad at your coach when you're hurt and he won't let you practice. Not just play, he practice. wants to practice not at 100%. He loves the game. Here's the one, two. That's a wild pitch. Runners moving up. Juan and Kong, both in scoring position. Go back to Kay. You got to love kids like that to come out, want to play every day, want to practice. I don't know what the injury was, but it had to be severe enough that the coach has to go through an argument to keep him off the field. <laughs> this is a spot he wants to be in. Second and third. Here's the 2 2. Full count now. Good try with a cutter or a slider on the outside corner down and away. And Kea with a really nice take. So we get corners in. Sorry, with the play at the plate. Payoff pitch, ball four, and the bases are loaded. Well, oh. now they got a chance to bring this 10 run rule into effect with the base runners. Juan, Kong, and Kea. Well, we're going to have a meeting on the mound. We're going to have a mound visit right now, and I think it's a good time, but we're getting close to a pitch count of where we're going to lose P Pinedo for three days, four days. Yeah, he's going to give up the baseball here. So we have a pitching change in the fourth with nobody out and the bases loaded. 
That'll be it for Diego Pinedo as they make a move here. I think it's Jose Zapata coming over from first base. Tough spot to walk into. Bases loaded, nobody out, and your team's already down six runs. 70 pitches, and this gives us a chance to get you up to speed on pitch count eligibility in Little League Baseball as Pinedo's day done on the mound. Here it is. He's gone over 66, so needs four days rest. Well, it actually goes back to when he started the at-bat. So I think he started the bat at 65, which means that he is in the 51 to 65 range, and that's the way Little yeah. League Baseball works. It's not necessarily your total pitches. It's what number were you at starting the at-bat. So there I think see, he's yep. going to fall down to three days rest, and, and he's off. Right at 65. Yep, there it is. And, and so you see the threshold there at the bottom. So right now you're probably going to see Arizona trying to keep everybody under 20 pitches, get everybody a little bit of work, get them back on the mound, get, get over their nerves, their edginess that they have, and you know do their best to try to keep this thing close and let the offense get started. But you're down 6 nothing. bases loaded, nobody out. Fourth inning, you know, you're kind of seeing the writing on the wall right now. So probably going to see Zabeda for 20 pitches or less. Just my guess. And uh, Pinedo will take Zapata's spot at first base as they make that straight switch. Bases loaded, nobody out. And here's the leader for this Honolulu Little League team, Sean Yamaguchi. Drove in a run with a double his last time up. He got a fastball in the inner part of the plate and hit a laser over the left fielder's head. Off-speed pitch, bouncer to third. Lord is coming home with it. They get the force at home, the throw to first. Not in time. They get the lead runner, heads up play from Lorda to get out number one. Well, during the mound visit, called the uh, coach called in the infield, so you, you bring your infielders in. And corner, you can see that the middle infield's playing part way, halfway. So if they get something hard hit, they still have a play at the plate. But that one was a routine ground ball to Lorda, fired a strike to home. Now Bruce Boucher, that's bounced in front of Toledo, and here comes a run. Is coming in as one to make it seven nothing. Runners move up to second and third. Great base running. That ball was five feet away from home plate. Best case scenario, but. Kind of in no man's land. Toledo had to get up and go after it. Zapata wasn't able to get to it quick enough. And it was Kong that scores. But nice block by Toledo. It was just right in no man's land. Went far enough away. Great read. Boucher a chance to drive a couple in here with one out. Yamaguchi at second. Kea is at third. Nice pitch, fastball down and away on the outside corner. Boucher's already hit a hard ball up center field and then flew out deep to center field. I'm sure right now we're down in a one-two count hole, he'll take that fly ball to center field to get the sacrifice fly. And that hits the batter. Boucher is on, base is loaded again. He's gonna bring him back. He's going to bring him back there. It's in the rule book that he has to get out of the way or make an attempt to get out of the way, especially on a breaking ball or a changeup. And this looks like a hanging breaking ball. And you can see him lean the elbow in a little bit. If just he probably would have just held his ground and maybe rolled the shoulder, he's at first base. That was a subtle twitch, but enough. It was enough where he made a conscious effort to get the elbow out in front. And especially with the elbow pad, I'm sitting on the mound going, come on, really? I got to hit you with that. 2-2. Two, two. Late swing. Look out over there. That was always a fun conversation. I had the pleasure of playing with Craig Biggio in Houston, and then I played against him for a couple years. And we'd, I'd always walk by him because he'd put that big elbow pad right out of the inside <laughs> corner, and he'd get hit about 10 times a year on the elbow pad. And I'm like, Bidge, I love you to death, man, but if you're going to lean that elbow pad out and I'm going to hit you in the elbow pad, the next yeah. time I'm going to hit you in the middle of the back. And, and then we'll call it even. He just looks at me, why? <laughs> little gamesmanship there. Here's the 2-2. Oh, and that hit the helmet of Boucher, and he's on. Wow. And he hustles down to first base. That one, you have no 
no thought whatsoever of sticking your head out to get hit. That one he did a nice job of getting the head turned. I'm kind of surprised we're not walking over. And he sees Zapata walk over and shake his hand and apologize. You never want to hit somebody in the head. Now Chandler Murray is going to bat here. You've got Kea, Yamaguchi, and Boucher on the base pass. And Murray with one out, and the base is full. Already up 7-0. Breaking pitch. Took something off that one for a strike. Well, that's a perfect pitch in a situation where you got bases loaded, and you know that the hitter is going to be aggressive on a first pitch fastball. You spin a little something up there, try to get ahead early, and then your options are open. Oh, and that's a pitch behind the batter, and Toledo had to go out there to get it. And most of the Hawaii fans are going, come on, lean in there, take it for the team. It's an RBI. Chance to drive some in. Here's the 1-1. Big cut as he was swinging for the fences. Good pitch. Looked like a fastball away. And that's what, that's what the problem is. The hitter's so used to breaking balls, so he sees a good first one, a bad second one, and then here comes a fastball that's so much harder, you're not on that timing. Zepeda with a windup in the one two. Just missed off the plate, two and two. Toledo was trying to give him the high strike. You could see him standing up behind home plate. And uh, Zapata just missed away because of the big move by the catcher. Probably didn't get the strike call from Mel uh, home plate umpire Melton. Upstairs with that one, full count now, nowhere to put him. So you're that kind of dad right there that you're yelling, hey, nowhere to put him. <laughs> Just throw a strike, son. And I'm sitting in the dugout going, it's not that easy. Here comes a 3-2. Struck him out. Chased one high and inside, and that's a big second out. Really nice job of pitching. Looked like they were going back and forth on a couple pitches. And Zapata just fast, best fastball inside corner. And after seeing an assortment of sliders, the timing just was not there for Chandler Murray. Here's Kaolu Holt now with a chance to help his cause. Two down, bases full. Bounced in front of Toledo. Keeps the ball in front of him. Well, Juan scored on that almost that exact same play. Little breaking ball in the dirt. Toledo blocks it out front. It rolls away. And Juan was so far down the line earlier this inning that he was able to score easily with no play. Fastball. Misses. 2-0. Yeah, that was a really good pitch. Fastball away. And it had been a strike most of the day today. A little elevated, but... Still a pretty good pitch, and in that situation, you just want to strike. Jammed him there as he fouls that one off down the right field line. Good pitch to get back in the count. Right now, Arizona would love any sort of fly ball to the outfield. Just get out of this inning, get back in the dugout with only one run. Bases loaded, nobody out to start this inning. Fouled off, two and two. Holt tried to wait on that one. Peta taking his time. Here's the pitch. Got him with the high fastball. Nice job in relief from Zapata to end the inning. Bases left loaded for Hawaii. They get a run in the fourth and lead 7-0. Top of the order coming up for Tucson next.
Hawaii with a five run first inning, one in the second, one in the fourth. They lead Arizona here. Game one, West Region play in San Bernardino. Looking for training and information for coaches, umpires, league volunteers, and parents? Get free backyard tips, practice plans, drills, videos, and more. Visit littleleagueuniversity.org today. Starting to heat up here at the ballpark. We should see a temperature high of 100 degrees today at Al Houghton Stadium. Great setting for baseball, and we're going to crown a West Region and Northwest Region champion at the end of the week. This is day one, game one, and the Honolulu Little Leaguers have been impressive so far. Kaolu Holt pitching a shutout, and he's going to face a pinch hitter, Luis Soqui, to lead things off here. Top of the order. Well, so Kui coming off the bench, and as we talked about with the uh, mandatory Little League play rules, he is coming in for his at bat, hoping to get things started for Arizona. Fouls it off, four foot eight, 75 pounds, and great thing about baseball, you don't have to be big in stature or size to be effective. There have been a lot of great players through the years at all levels that uh, have put their imprint on the game. Here's a 1-1. Late swing fouled off. Well, you think of Jose Altuve, you right. know? Perfect example. I mean, he's not blowing yep. away the scouts when he goes to a tryout camper in college until you watch him play for a couple times and you're going, okay, this dude can really play, you know? So never take size. Soqui showed bunt a couple times, brought the third baseman in a little bit. And he looks to be a tough strike zone. Probably uh, a good job laying off of that one. Three and two now. He's making Holt work a little bit, which Holt uh, has not had to do so far today. He struck out three in the third inning on an assortment of sliders and good fastballs. Ball four, good at bat for Soqui opening up the inning with a walk. And that's the second walk given up by Holt. Yeah, he did a great job, got behind early in the count and was able to lay off a couple close pitches and he's on first base and it's exactly what Arizona needed. They haven't had a base runner since the leadoff, the leadoff hitter of the game. And a conference on the hill. Holt has been cruising along, a couple walks, one to lead off the game and one to lead off the fourth inning. He has set everybody else down. Well, it's Cristobal Lorda out to just say, all right, hey, we got a seven run lead. And we'll leave you in there. We showed you the pitch count earlier where he can go up to 64, 65, and still be able to come back in three days. And he's been throwing very well. So that was just a, hey, throw me some strikes. Let's get back into this. Your defense will help you out. Strike one to Emilio Lizarraga, who hit into that double play, 6-3. All the analytics in the world, Trey, I want to know what the amount of first pitch strike percentages are after a mound visit. 95? <laughs> it sure <laughs> seems like it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, it doesn't need to be much that's said out there. Just no. a chance to upset the rhythm or get back get back into the rhythm. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Strike on the corner. Or you get the fun pitching coaches that'll walk out and go, hey, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm trying to get out of this, coach. Could you get off my mound, please? Red vines? Here's the 1-2. <laughs> one, Got him. Change of pace pitch of beauty. That fool leaves Araga one down. Look like that slider that I talked about. He will throw it in any count. We've seen a couple on a 3-1, 3-2 sliders. Here comes a little slider, and it was on the front side of the plate. And Lee Zaraga's eyes probably got huge. And I think that will be it for Holt. Five strikeouts, and they'll make a pitching change here with a 7-0 lead in the bottom half of the fourth inning. So. Kaolu Holt with an impressive performance. Five Ks, only two walks, no hits given up. And the Honolulu Little Leaguers will make a change. We'll take a break with them. 7-0, Hawaii leads it here at Al Houghton Stadium in San Bernardino.
New pitcher for this Honolulu Little League team, Sean Yamaguchi, big Red Sox fan, loves the intensity of the game. He'd love to experience Williamsport. He comes in for Holt, who goes four and a third. Base runner on, one out, and facing Damian Lorda. The number three hitter for the Sunnyside Little Leaguers. First pitch bouncer to the second baseman, Chun, gets past him and into right field. Soqui on his way to third and runners on the corners. Well, it was a good first pitch. Looked like a little breaking ball. Got Lorda on his front foot. Ground ball just shade closer to the 43 hole than would have been a perfect double play. But we got uh, an error at second base. Ball goes out to right field. And that was Chun who just moved to that spot from right field. Holt is now playing right. He was the pitcher, so. Chun tested right away. Well, Soqui at third base lost his shoe rounding second base. Left it out by shortstop. <laughs> Had to go get it. <laughs> Only in Little League Baseball. Get the shoe put on over at third base. Zapata's got a chance to do some damage here. He grounded out his first time up. One out, runners on the corners. Fastball strike called from Yamaguchi. Well, that's a good way to start. And now we're back to the first and third, but you're down seven runs if you're Arizona. Do you take the chance on a runner stealing and getting thrown out? Right now, you need a big inning. And that is a crooked number that's going to be in the two, three, or more would be great. But you sure don't want to take the chance on getting a runner thrown out at second base for your second out. 1-1 one, one fastball is a strike, one and two. Well, we talked about a little bit. Uh, the home plate umpire is setting up on the inside corner, so the outside corner becomes a little bit larger than the inside corner does. Let's see if they go back out there. Yamaguchi took something off of that one. It's pulled foul from Zapata. Arizona, no hits. They have reached three times, two via the walk, one via the air. I knew you were going to say that. You just couldn't hold it in, could you? You had to say, no hits. Here's the one-two, and that misses. It would be a combined no-no if we're going down that path. <laughs> I cannot believe you said that. You couldn't have said something different. Here's the two-two, and got a piece of that one to stay alive. Boucher almost had a chance to catch it. I couldn't tell if that popped up off of his body or his hand. But it was a little foul tip that went off of something and popped straight up in the air. Might have had a chance for an easy strikeout catch. Late swing, defensive swing there for Zapata. Did a good job just getting his bat out there. Gucci from the stretch with the 2-2. Two -two. Full count now. Boucher with a nice block runner on third base. Backhand pick. Yamaguchi's struggling a little bit with the command. I'm going to be shocked if they don't go with a fastball away here. Use that expanded zone on the outside corner. There it is. Did not get the strike call. Off the plate. Bases are loaded. Zapata with a really good at bat. Able to lay off that pitch. Now you got bases loaded and you got a possibility of a big inning. And it's Diego Pinedo who started the game as the pitcher, now playing first base. Chance to get his team back into it here with a hit. He likes the action film, specifically the Mark Wahlberg acting in those. Marky Mark? Strike one. Yamaguchi with a good first pitch slider. 
middle of the plate, exactly what you want to do on the first pitch when the hitters are looking fastball. Ground ball, base hit left field. Soqui scores. They're going to hold up Lorda, and the bases are loaded at 7-1. to one. Well, they were trying to send Lorda at third base, but he saw it right to the left fielder who was in shallow. Yokata. Ground ball single through the 56 hole. And Lorda broke it down on the base. You want your runners to run through hard. Okada struggled picking it up clean out in left field. So the two signs, sunny side, Little Leaguers are finally on the board. Now thinking about a potential big inning. And here's Toledo, the catcher. Strike called on the outside edge. Toledo flew out to right field in the second inning. He would probably take one of those right now for an RBI. One out, bases loaded. Anything you can do to get a run in. Late swing there, 0 and 2. Yamaguchi breaking out his best breaking ball so far he's thrown today. Wind starting to whip up a little bit. It'll gust right to left throughout the day through the afternoon hours here. Here's the 0-2. Got a piece of that one. I will tip my cap. Zapata had a really nice at bat, spoiled some pitches. Toledo's doing the same thing. That was just a late, what we call an emergency hack, where all you can do is try to get a piece of it and live to fight another day. Toledo has power. He hit a home run over 300 feet in his career. Here's the 0-2. Late swing, strikeout. Out number two, and he got the K he needed there with the bases loaded. Perfect. Yamaguchi with a perfect fastball down and away. Toledo spoiled a little slider that was left elevated. Looked like the pitch came in from the dugout. Yamaguchi fastball down and away, strike three. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Hawaii with the bases loaded and one out. And now Jesus Rodriguez will bat. Pinch hitter here with the bases full and two down. And we'll see that this throughout the course of this regional. These pinch hitters, you got to be ready in Little League Baseball to, to make an imprint. And here's a big chance for him, number 15. Well, this is a big spot. I mean, he, you know, base hit scores two, and all of a sudden you're seven to three. And like you said, the wind's blowing out to left. It, it's not going to take much to get this thing interesting here. And I did notice that was the first single of the day after you mentioned no hitter. That was a solid single, and no doubter <laughs> to left field. Nickname is Chendo. Martin Reyes is now running at second base for Zapata. Yeah, Reyes out there now. Gives him some more speed. Base is full. Pitch to Rodriguez, and he chases a high one. Chance to climb back into this single. Just missed with that one, one to one. That was, uh, I don't know, Trey, I think I might have wanted that one. Fastball down, bottom of the zone. Took something off that one, and he works ahead in the count now, one to two. So Chindo Rodriguez. He's got to do everything he can do, and I spoke about how well Arizona's done a nice job of battling and spoiling good pitches. He needs to do it right now. Fastball just off the plate, two and two. Yamaguchi wanted that one, too. Really good pitch, fastball down and away. Yamaguchi trying to close the door, keep this a six-run cushion. Here is the offering. Ground ball. Backhanded by the second baseman, Chun to the bag, and Awana is there to end the inning. What a play. What a play by Chun, diving to his right. Comes up and makes the easy toss to Awana at shortstop. Inning, ending. Great play right there. Chun, look at that. We've got to have a Sports Center highlight right there, don't we? 
Little flip, second baseman to the shortstop, and it remains a six-run game. One across for Arizona, but that's it. We head to the fifth at Al Houghton Stadium. Let's recap what we've seen in game one. West Region play first inning, a five-run inning. Big two-run single for Bruce Boucher. Awana had a hit as well, and shunned to drive in runs, and that put him off on the right footing here. Jumped out to a 7-0 lead, and Holt just locked the door on the mound. A lot of breaking balls, great breaking ball. He had a no-hitter through four, left the game uh, with a runner on base, and that's where we're at now. 7-1. to one. Kaolu Holt starting. Yamaguchi coming in, working out of a jam in that last in inning, only one across for the Sunnyside Little Leaguers. And now the Honolulu Little Leaguers will try to add to their lead as you look at the Dixie Little Leaguers from Utah watching here in West Region play. Tanner Chun to lead things off against Zepeda. How does that always work? Made a great play at second base to end the inning. Save a possible two runs scored by a diving play to his right, and he leads off. It's uh, the baseball gods are smiling on this kid right now. He looked good in his first at bat going opposite field to drive in a run. Enrique is now playing second base for Arizona. He came in as a pinch runner originally. Good job of laying off a slider that was up in the zone. Zapata got out a big bases loaded jam. Keeps his team right there. Well, Hawaii came out focused from the get-go. It's a Honolulu Little League team that won the state championship, a coaching staff that has been here before. Swung on, high fly ball hit the center. Reyes is under it, camps there to make the play, one down. Well, we talked a little bit about Hawaii's plane broke down on Friday. They ended up getting in it yesterday morning at 5 a.m., which is about, what, 2 a.m. Hawaii time. And then they get the 6 a.m. Hawaii time game today. I was curious to see how their stamina would hold up with a little bit of lack of sleep. It's like you said, it's getting hot, and you're, ha you're the only one out here that's happy for it to be 111 tomorrow. <laughs> You know, these kids are resilient. <laughs> no, but it, it could, more than anything, just from a mental standpoint, it can play with your mind if you're thinking about lack of sleep and travel, but they have come out focused. they ready to play baseball. Hunter Nishina, first pitch swinging, rips it to right field for a base hit. 
Really nice swing. First pitch fastball. It's a line drive through the 43 hole between first and second. Sprints through the base to make sure that, that ball was well enough hit that uh, might have had a play from right field. You see it again. First baseman Pinedo had, no, excuse me, it was not Pinedo. As Valenzuela at first base had no chance at that ball. And now a pinch runner. Let's see who it is. So back up to Souza. Here's a bouncing ball hit to short and thrown away by the shortstop. Lee Zaraga and into right field and runners now on the corners. Lazaraga's made some really nice plays at shortstop. That one, he just rushed it a little bit to try to get the double play. And Souza reaching, so runners on the corners now. Wow. After that error. And now it's the top of the order. Nishina at third. Souza at first, and here's Mana Lao Kong. Back to runners on first and third. Looks like we got a little bit of speed at first base. Let's see if Hawaii tries to get cup one more runner into scoring position. You can see Toledo giving the signs to the infielder on what the play will be if the runner steals. We saw the shortstop come up a little bit and take a throw near the infield grass to make sure that runner didn't come down from third base. Here's the 0-1, fouled off. To my knowledge, there are about four defensive plays. Now you can probably come up with another one or two, but the defense can either throw down to third base from the catcher, throw it directly back to the pitcher, throw it straight down to second, or you try to cut your shortstop in front of second base, and the catcher throws it directly to him. There's always a stare down, the catcher down that third baseline. Well, yeah, <laughs> um, you try the you try the catcher a big arm fake and try to see if the runner's being too aggressive and then you pick him off at third base, but otherwise you try to throw it down and get somebody out. He's getting a piece of that one was Kong to stay alive as he went fishing low in the zone. Kong has uh, swung at some pitches down in the zone that just are not strikes or not even close. And you can see he's shaking his head. He just did it again. Right now you just want a ground ball or a fly ball somewhere just to get that run in. It's a paid his pitch. He's inside. Oh, strike three call. Got him on the corner. Two down. That was a front door breaking ball. And Kong was just froze. Ball starts out at his head. He gives up on it. Nice job of framing by Toledo back behind the plate. Big second out. Here's Aokai Kea, who has reached all three times up there. He has a double to his credit. Well, Zepeda's done a nice job since he's come in. Fastball's down and away. He's got a big breaking ball. It's a lot slower than his fastball, so the hitters have a very different range of timing. Inside with that one. Tried to sneak it back to Oregon. Well, right now, Zapata is at 21 pitches. He started the hitter before 20. So if he gets him out right here, we might see a new pitcher start in the sixth. And he gets to come back and play tomorrow. The pitch tomorrow. That double was in the second inning. Opposite field, he scored a run. Pitch to Kea. Got him, freezes him. To end the inning, four strikeouts for Zapata in relief. It's still seven to one. Four and a half in the books. Good pitching. 
from the sunny side, Little Leaguers, but they trail by six. West region play is underway here on the road to the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. A 7-1 lead for Honolulu over Tucson here at Al Houghton Stadium. You want to play Little League in your local community? Visit playlittleleague.org. Enter your address and find a Little League program near you. All right, Greg Olson, greatest Little League moment. Do you have one, one that comes to mind, or you just want to? No, you know what? We had a couple. We had, um, when I was 12, we ran through state, got through sectionals, got into regionals, and uh, some team from Oklahoma just kicked me in the head a couple times. And <laughs> How's that for a good fond one, memory? One of those memories you'll never forget. No, I got dirt thumped. 7-1, Hawaii leading Arizona here. Sunnyside Little Leaguers, despite giving up that five spot in the first inning, Come up with a run in the last inning, trying to build off a little momentum here. Enrique leading off the inning with a single to center field. Nice piece of hit. Way to come off the bench, ready to go. It looks, looks like a fastball middle of the plate. Hits it out into right center. Yep, perfect swing. Straight off the bench, too. Great piece of hitting. Maceo Valenzuela comes to the plate. Arizona had bases loaded, nobody out last inning. They were, they were looking like they had a chance to run this thing back. They got one. And you can see the momentum is on the Arizona side a little bit. I mean, just me watching the game. Nobody talks about the ebbs and flows of baseball, but there is momentum. And right now, it just for me, it feels like Arizona has it. Valenzuela hitting in the ninth spot in the order after that single by Ariki, getting him started here in the fifth. Got a piece of that one, two and two. Arizona's down to six outs. And so, me as a Little League coach, I am really expressing how important every at bat is right now. You only have six more outs to give. And now five, there's out number one. Now five. I think I just did that. I think I just jinxed him. That's the second strikeout for Yamaguchi in relief of Holt, who pitched very well in four plus innings. Now it's the top of the order. Now we're back to the top of the order. A couple base hits and, and a home run, and you're right back in this thing. Martin Reyes looks at strike one on the inside corner. Well, he led off the game with a walk and then was erased on a nice double play at shortstop by Owani. Chopper off the glove of the third baseman, and that rolls into left field. Enrique on his way to third, the throw not in time, throw down to second. Safe at second base. 
is Reyes beating the tag. Kea gets a ground ball, to, at, and he's doing what he's supposed to do as a third baseman. You want your third baseman to come get this ball. He does, but he just isn't able to get down on it, deflects it enough away from Owani. Nice job of base running by Iroquois. And then you can see Martin Reyes. A little gutsier than I would like if I'm standing in the third base box. Down six. Down six runs, and I've got five outs left in my game. And you're watching your leadoff hitter at a bang, bang play where everybody in the house is holding their breath. Now they put that on the board as a hit, so it'll go as an infield single. And then reaching second, Reyes with the base running. So second and third and one down. And now it's the meat of the order now for this Tucson team. Chance to cut into this deficit a little bit in the fifth inning. Lizaraga. Well, up until that last inning, Lizaraga has been a rock star at shortstop. He got a routine ball, just tried to turn it too quick, but before that, a great play behind the bag. Chased a high one and strike one. Notice his open stance here. The open stance from number six at the plate as you look at the base runners. A little bit. A little bit closed open. It, closed it a little bit. Yamaguchi messing with uh, <laughs> messing with Lizaraga a little bit. First pitch slider, Lizaraga doesn't look real good on it. So he's up there thinking he's going to get another one, and Yamaguchi comes with a 68-mile-an-hour fastball down and away. Got him. Inside pitch chases, and Lizaraga is out number two. Bruce Boucher behind the plate. Looked like he caught that slider, but he still wanted to do the drop third and tag, tag Lizaraga, almost, chased, the him, third base almost chased him back into the dugout. That's another one where I'm sitting in the Hawaii dugout going, don't leave home plate. <laughs> Stay there, he'll come back. Damian Lorda now, first pitch, ground ball base hit to center. That will score Ariki, and it's seven to two, and runners on the corners now, RBI for Lorda. He got a first pitch fastball down in the zone. Ground ball up the middle, nobody can get there. And they had to hold Reyes at third base. Ball was hit well enough, Sue's out in center field came up and that might've been a bang, bang play. Now Zapata pulls the first one foul. Let me get another run across here. Make things interesting here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Well, if Zepeda can get a hit, find a way to get on base, this game is going to be very interesting. With four outs left, and you got some runners in scoring position. Yamaguchi's pitch is a wild one, and the throw to the plate, not in time. Scoring is Reyes, and it's 7-3, to three. and moving up to second is Lorda. Well, that's the toughest pitch to block for a catcher, and Bruce Boucher does his best. It's a fastball in the dirt, about 58 feet, 59 feet. It's just hard for the catcher to adjust. You assume a breaking ball is going to be in the dirt, so they make an adjustment. That one he had no chance of getting out front of. We have a, a short backstop behind him. Nice base running by Reyes to break on the wild pitch. Swing and a miss for Zapata. Yeah, Yamaguchi has shown a very nice slider or cut fastball, something with depth. Spins away and down from the right-handed hitter. He's done a really nice job of throwing it for strikes. Chance to get out of this inning with one more pitch here. Bottom of the fifth. Hawaii was up 7-0. Arizona trying to chip away at the lead. One, two. Nice block, nice take. Find a way to get on base your Jose Zapata. Got a P 
piece of that one, fought it off. Hawaii is out hit Arizona seven to four in this one, a two run fifth here for the Sunnyside Little Leaguers. Six innings regulation, Little League Baseball. Favorite hitter is Nolan Arenado. Trying to channel a little Nolan Arenado here, huh? Yeah, that would be a good time to do it. Nolan would probably be looking for a fastball middle down, try to drive something on top of the pickup trucks that are out in the school behind left field. 3-2 and he strikes him out. Catcher will pick it up and that'll end the inning. Nice job done by Yamaguchi. Two across for Arizona as they cut the deficit to four. They strand a runner, we're through five. 7-3, Honolulu in front of Tucson here in San Bernardino. San Bernardino, California, the site. West Regional opening round play. First of two West Region games today. Hawaii leading Arizona 7-3. Top half of the sixth inning. A big five run first has been the story thus far. And good pitching from Holt and Yamaguchi for the Honolulu Little Leaguers. And they'll try to add to their lead here. They've out hit Arizona 7-4. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit at the ballpark. Great setting in uh, both of these Teams well represented from Sunnyside Little League and the Honolulu Little League. Do a great job taking care of the grounds here. Well, it's a beautiful infield. You can see the dirt trail going from the mound to home plate. Yamaguchi first pitch swinging. Shortstop Lee Zaraga can't come up with the baseball. And Yamaguchi's aboard. Well, you got a first pitch breaking ball. Hits it fairly well to Lee Zaraga, but we've already seen that he's more than capable of making this play, and it looks like he's still thinking about that double play ball that he had last inning. Needs to uh, refocus right here and try to get a double play, get Zapata out of this inning. Here's Bruce Boucher. First pitch grounder, third baseman Lorda. Flips to second, and they get the force play. On one hop, Florida to the second baseman, Enrique, and they get out number one. Great play by Damian Lorda. Dives to his left, comes, stays on his knees. Enrique with a great pick over at second base. A little bit of a collision. Little League Baseball at its finest. Yamaguchi touches him on the shoulder and said, hey, you all right? My bad. Now Chandler Murray, strike one. Murray has struck out both times up there. I'd like to get another run here.
And that's going to be second base for Boucher as it popped out of the glove of the catcher, Toledo, and he took advantage of it. Well, Chandler Murray showed bunt. Pitch was a little bit outside. Toledo wasn't able to completely get his body out to it. Yeah, Murray actually had an RBI single his first time up, and now we're going to have a pinch runner. Zach Wan, pinch running. He'll run for Yamaguchi down there at second base. Actually, uh, Boucher at second base. Fouled straight back and out of play off the bat of Murray. So in Little League Baseball, you can pinch hit twice, or uh, pinch run twice without using the runner's eligibility up. And that's what they're trying to do right now. They're trying to get one more on the board here. In Major League Baseball, you kind of look at a lead and nothing is truly safe, obviously, in Little League Baseball. But in Major League Baseball, you're going, okay, they're still within a grand slam. Right. You know, so they're trying to get outside of the grand slam zone. Yeah, that eighth run would be huge. And there's strike three. Murray caught looking. Well, we've seen a couple pitchers today come in relief, Yamaguchi and Zapata, that have a really nice breaking ball at, at this age. And you can see how late that dipped. Chandler Murray just gave up on it. Now Holt's going to hit here. With two outs in the inning. Holt started the game and did a great job. Four and a third. No hit ball until it was jinxed by Trey Bender, my partner. Mentioning that he had a no hitter. I just knew I had a pitcher next to me. Had to get under your skin a little bit. I'm still angry. There's a strike. But you can see Zapata, it's, it's a slider that has it has depth, which means his fingers roll to the front of the ball when he's creating the spin. And that one would be called like a backup slider where it kind of goes in reverse. And I've only seen one guy able to throw that on command, and it was Kevin Apier with Kansas City. Most other guys just do it by accident. Number 55, huh? Here's yep. the 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Well, Holt is sitting, looking dead red fastball right now. He's laid off a couple really good sliders. Liner foul. That could have been trouble down into the corner there. Just foul. Okay, you got me. His favorite food is loco moco. What do you got? I'm not familiar with that. Some kind of a mocha food, possibly? I got nothing. Loco moco. I think it's a high caffeine chocolate drink. Energy drink, maybe? Full count, lays off of that one. Tough pitch to take. Well, that uh, so Toledo's standing up behind home plate. They want a high fastball. He's thrown a bunch of Zapata's thrown a bunch of sliders so far. They want a high fastball, change his eye line. There's strike three on the corner. Great pitch from Zapata to get him out of the jam. And then just in case you set that pitch up with a slider down and away, perfect location. Great frame by Toledo. Seven to three, slider down and away, strike three, leaving a runner in scoring position. Hawaii up seven to three over Arizona.
7-3, Hawaii leading Arizona bottom of the sixth inning. And young and old alike enjoying what's happening here at Houghton Stadium. Game one, West Region play. And Hawaii, thanks to a five spot in the first inning, has been in control, though it's only a four-run lead. They'll try to close the door here with Yamaguchi on the hill, facing the middle part of the Arizona order. Well, Yamaguchi came in in the fourth inning, struggled a little bit, but has settled in, thrown very well. You will see an assortment of sliders and good fastballs. Good mixing, good location. His fastball down and away has been very good today. Holt's playing right field. You got Juana and Shun at shortstop and second. They've been good up the middle behind Sean Yamaguchi. And Diego Pinedo to lead things off. Already has a run scoring single. They need four runs here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. And Yamaguchi starts him off with a good first pitch slider. And now that just opens up whatever you want to throw. Good fastball in or away, another slider. Fastball, and he's ahead on the count 0-2 now. I got to say, though, I got I to tip my cap to Bruce Boucher back behind home plate. He's still hopping around. It's 100 degrees. Been back in that box. Chopper over the mound. Shortstop, Owana with the throw. And it's on the money. He's been really good out there. One down. Yeah, this uh, home plate area right in front of home plate gets a little bit baked in the sun. It's going to be out here all day in the sun, 100 degrees. Ball chops off of uh, the front of home plate. And Awana just makes a routine coming across the bag. Great throw. Had to move quick as well. Tell you what, they're going to win some games if they get that, that middle infield play the way they've been getting. From Awana, Yamaguchi and Chun out there. Yamaguchi pitching now as he leads off Toledo with strike one. And with a four-run lead, you got to get three outs. Now he's got to get two. That first one is so important to keeping the momentum. Ritz foul, just foul, left of the chalk down that left field line. He is three inches away from a double. And now he's sitting here 0 and 2. He's seen a good fastball down and away. He got a slider to hit, was just a little bit out front of it. And now he's back to fighting for, fighting for an out here. All right, Yamaguchi has some pitches to waste here. Well, the outside corner has been a little bit more liberal. I would be surprised if they don't go back out there. There he goes, 1 and 2 now. And I'm going back out there again. Probably a little bit less distance away from home plate. Sean Yamaguchi with the offering. Strikeout. Good That's slider. That's his fifth of the game, and they're an out away. Good slider down and away. Got him on the front foot. He's seen a 68-mile-an-hour fastball, which is pretty good in Little League at this age. And then... You see it coming for a split second, and it's a slider, and it's diving away, and you got no chance of holding your bat up. Here's Jesus Rodriguez. As Tucson is down to their final out here in game one of the West Region. Double elimination format. Danger of falling into the loser's bracket here. Going up against a good Hawaii team. Well, Rodriguez taking a strike. Good protocol, well-taught kids. Down four runs, his run doesn't mean anything right now. Strike away, one and two now to Rodriguez. Sean Yamaguchi trying to close the door, get the Honolulu Little Leaguers the win. Got him swinging. And Hawaii knocks off Arizona seven to three, a one, two, three frame to close it out for Sean Yamaguchi. Well, we talked about his slider, and it is late, and it has some depth to it, and it's just hard. These hitters just are not able to recognize the difference between the 68-mile-an-hour fastball and the 55-mile-an-hour slider, and it gave him fits all day. A five-run first, big story for Hawaii. Holt and Yamaguchi doing the job on the hill. Our next game, 11:45, Alaska and Oregon in the Northwest region here in San Bernardino.
For Greg Olson, I'm Trey Bender saying so long from San Bernardino. 7-3, Hawaii winner over Arizona. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. More coming. Stay with us from Houghton Stadium in San Bernardino, California.